first thing is this is a and b i am drawing a and b here and you should know one thing here that these two resistances are r and r they are parallel to this one then for you can write 2r into r by 2r plus r which is going to be 2r by 3 so this completely it is going to be 2r by 3 which i have uh, uh, drawn here and this is replacing this one that is taken as 2r by 3 this is r and this is r i am writing here and here the middle one is r which is here between c and d next similarly this is also going to be 2r by 3 and similarly this is also going to be 2r by 3 and even this is also going to be 2r by 3 because this is replacing this three here okay so this is also one resistance then after that this is r and this is r the middle one will become a balanced resistance which no current passes through across so we can remove this one then 2r plus 3 2r plus 3 they are in series so we can write them as 4r by 3 again 2r by 3 plus 2r by 3 becomes 4r by 3 now these two are in series 4r by 3 plus r this is going to become 7r by 3 here okay so this is going to become 7r by 3 here then after that you should know one thing this combined together is going to become 7r by 3 this is going to become 7r by 3 so 7r by 3 and 7r by 3 are parallel therefore we can take a 7r by 3 whole divided by 2 because when two are same then the result will be half of them so you can write the answer as 7r by 6